Okay, we're now ready to cable up the uh, Atom 65 Auto Acquire. First thing we want to do uh, is attach the PIM uh, to the tripod. Just a couple of words on the PIM or the Paradigm Interface module. This actually houses uh, the Inmarsat Global Express core module, uh, which is the heart of the system. Uh, on the top side of the PIM, uh, we have the interfaces to the actual terminal itself. And on the bottom side of the pin, we ha PIM, we have the user interfaces. So power, uh, AC power, DC power, uh, and a number of ethernet and control ports. On the top of the PIM, there is a graphical interface uh, for pointing. However, uh, for the auto acquire systems, uh, this graphical interface uh, won't be used. So, the PIM uh, has a, uh, a, a, um, a bolt on the bottom, uh, which will align with the bracket uh, on the tripod here. And that can swivel around um, as, you, as you need to connect the cables. All right, the first cable we need to connect uh, is this short black cable with N-type connectors. Uh, this is going to connect the transceiver on the receive port uh, to the transceiver port uh, on the GX10. Okay, the next cable we're going to do is take the receive from the GX10 to the receive port uh, on the PIM. So uh, we use the green cable connecting the connector called modem on GX10 uh, to the green port here uh, on the PIM. Okay, the next one is the transmit cable. This actually connects directly from the transmit port on the transceiver to the red transmit port on the PIM. All right, the next cable we need to connect uh, is from the uh, control port on the PIM uh, directly to the control port on the transceiver. And the final cable goes from this ACU port here on the PIM to the ACU port uh, on the GX10. Okay, we're now ready to apply power to the Atom 65 Auto Acquire uh, and connect to the GX network.